Welcome to the channel. This channel is to explain Awakened Chaos Era. Today we will be explaining Foodie. What is his point? What does he do? And how do we get them? And how do we use him the best? This hero only has one ability and cannot be used on the battlefield. This ability, when you look at it, quite simply reduces the experience cost for upgrading to 50%. Now, this foodie right here, as I raise myself, you will see is a five-star foodie and is level 40 out of 40. That is because foodie can only get to level 40. Normally five stars, the maximum level is 50. They do this to make it blindingly obvious that you stop leveling this hero at five stars. This is the best use of him. Now, why would we get him to five stars if we can't use him on the battlefield? Well, it's very simple. If we have heroes we want to promote, let's, for instance, my Ricard I would like to promote, we need either pumpkins or other heroes at that level in order to use them to promote the hero. Well, since Foodie takes half of the experience, you can very quickly realize it is half as much to get Foodie to five star. Now, does that mean that if we want a five-star foodie, when we promote them, he takes half as much to promote? No, only to upgrade. You can see the experience here. He is now 40, and I can promote him. He doesn't take two people to promote. He still takes four. So the reduced experience is only to help your foodie level up to get to 40 so you can promote him to five stars. The reason they stop the level there is so you don't accidentally misread and promote a foodie to six stars because six star is the maximum level. So what you're supposed to do is take a five star that you do want, use your foodies like such, and then use it to promote a hero you would like to get to six star. That's the entire point of foodie. That's the only thing he does. He does save you tons and tons of experience. He saves you exactly half. Meaning, yes, you do need additional heroes to level him because I need four four-star heroes in order to get Foodie the five-star, and it doesn't have the experience of the people that we're going to use to level Foodie. However, it has the level of Foodie himself. For this reason, he is the very best five-star use in the game, and you should try to get your foodie to five star before you use them. You can use foodies to promote at three, four stars. However, it is much more efficient to use it at five star. So now that you understand his entire use, which is a simple one, how do we actually get our hands on them? Well, there's a variety of ways. One of ways in the diamond shop, you can actually purchase foodies every week, one, two, and three of them. And now I have three foodies and that will save me a lot of jello over the time, okay? You can also get foodies as well in your guild when you, at the end of the week, have rewards to claim. You can see some people have claimed foodies. I'll click, I got a four star pumpkin, which I'll use to promote one of my foodies, but I did not get a foodie. And you can see some people are getting foodies there. Now, going back, there is another way you can get foodie. If you look in your dungeon and you go to your void towers and you do your void towers, you can see rewards have foodies in them as well. So you can claim, obviously, the great rewards for clearing normal, hard, and mythic, but you also get foodies in addition. Okay, so there is a variety of ways. They're also commonly brought from events. And for this reason, the best way to use it is to save your foodies and use them to promote heroes during the hero promotion event, and then do the type of events like the Arena of Glory, for instance, and try to get foodies or pumpkins that will show up here to either upgrade your foodies or to get the foodies themselves. This is typically the best way to get them. I've noticed in these type of events, you can stack them fairly quickly. And I do think it's worth the 80 diamonds to get the foodies if you're a small payer or do the monthly cards for instance but i think it's probably better not to buy the foodies in that if you are free to play it's probably best just to get them for free from things like the monthlies for instance that's going to wrap up the guide fairly simple at this last bit here i'm just going to do three summons while i explain that if you like the video or subscribe to my channel it will help me out a lot help the videos be seen more which makes me put more effort into them etc etc so if you would like to do that Feel free to help me out in that manner. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.